Okay, where are we? We're at the Maryland State Fair. Absolutely, absolutely. Because, you know, when we were coming up with the ideas for this show, it's all about memories. All about memories. It's a trip down memory lane. Mm -hmm. And for me, the State Fair, I have lots of memories. I came here all the time as a kid. So we are at the 141st State. Maryland State Fair at the Timonium Fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a ball. We're going to get to do everything. We're going to go on rides. We're going to the exhibition hall. We're going to see everything, the arts, the crafts, the food. And then maybe we'll actually get a hold of some food that we probably should not eat. I think I see a fried Oreo in my future. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the fair. Thank you. Cheers. All right, let's go. <laughs> donuts for dollars and dollars for donuts at our state fair. Yes! Yay! Well, John, we're at the Maryland State Fair. We found a little bit of shade. <laughs> yep. Thank you to this kind booth. And you have what there? I have the Italian sausage sandwich with those beautiful sautéed peppers, onions. They smelled so good when we were walking by. I had to have this one. I, I agree. So I went with <laughs> The cotton candy, a uh, classic, uh -huh. and then also the, the largest corn dog no, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you kind of went sweet and savory. I did, which is very really ni awesome. Very nice. Nice okay. balance. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Feeling good, isn't it? This is awesome. Great. This and is so this, relaxing. Too. This brings back memories. Yeah. It does. Except you can't rock these cars, which no. I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Mayor, how was that day at the State Fair? This was a fabulous day. I love the State Fair. And <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in a very long time. We rode the Ferris wheel. Yeah. We ate. We drank our lemonade the best ever. And saw crafts like you can't <gasps> believe. It was a great day. It was. But now it's time for us to go back into our studio kitchen and let's cook. Let's cook. Wow. That was quite the day at the fair. Mary and I were like all over the place. We were playing games and we were going to arcades. We did the whole thing. So I love going to the State Fair. I've been loving it for years. And Mary, I don't think she had been in a while. So let's find out exactly what she has to think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our executive sous chef, also known as the CEO of Harford County Public Libraries, Mary Hassler. <laughs> Mary, come on oh, John, in. John, it's so good to be here. Oh, it's um, good to see you. You're absolutely correct. I've only been to the State Fair twice. Uh -huh. Once a year ago to pick up our little corgi, Sky, oh. from the farmer who raised him. Yeah. And then when we did our, our filming. So it's so exciting. I have been to the Harford County Fair many, many times. Yeah. Uh, we do a spelling bee there every year through the library, but it's fascinating. Fascinating, and the rides, and the, the food, and just the people watching. Yeah, it's that's, great, that's yeah. the best, isn't it? It is, it, it really it is. It really is. So if you haven't ever been to the State Fair, it's just about over now. But make sure next year you hit that State Fair, because it's so much fun. It isn't really it? is, and it supports our farms, our agricultural, our young children in 4-H. It's just an amazing time. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, the whole idea, the reason that we kind of put this show together and we have the State Fair in it, it's all about, you know, a trip down memory lane, right? Yep. And we were thinking about all kinds of different memories. Uh, you know, we had been trying to brainstorm some things. And we thought so many people every year, they take their families, take the kids. It's a generational kind of thing. That's a great way to do it. And we found the perfect person to be our guest chef this evening, right? We did. We had Shelly Howe with us at the State Fair. And, um, you know, she wrote Dining Down Memory Lane. So if we're talking about memories, this is the perfect thing. Now, I don't want to surprise you or anything. Okay. But actually, we have Shelly here tonight to cook with you. You surprised me. Absolutely. I knew I would. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is Shelly Howe. 
Come on. Hi, Hi there. So hey, to see Mary. You Great to see you. Hey. And John. Welcome back. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, you, you made it through the fair, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. How much fun we had. We did. We mm -hmm. had an awesome, awesome time. Yeah, we did. So now we're going to do some recipes that actually tie into that whole idea of memory lane, right? Great. And you were the inspiration. Shelly gave us all the ideas for the recipes that we're going to do tonight. Great. And um, most of them are from your books, yes. right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, and, they are. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I can actually show you the book because I got a present. Look at the crab wrapping <laughs> paper, This Shelley. is the you best. I like that. that. It's those little <laughs> details. And you can kind of tell I like crab I stuff. I thought yeah. so. Yeah. So look at this. Wow. Mm. Dining Down Memory Lane and Dining Down Memory Lane Volume 2. Two. Wow. Yes. Yeah. All right. So in case you need these recipes, you can find them right here in these books. All right. All right. So the first one we're going to talk with, Mayor, maybe yes. you can get that. The, um, this one? Next one, I think it's the next one over. Okay. And we're going to make a ketchup. A ketchup. Okay. We're going to make a ketchup. Okay. It's delicious. And, and this is a really interesting ketchup. Um, in as much, you're always thinking tomato ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not today. Um, I was over um, at Black Rock Orchard for the last number of weeks, and they were just finishing up their blueberry uh -huh. season. He had some. Dave had some gorgeous things. So we're going to make a blueberry ketchup, all right? It's going to be awesome. Ready? Okay. okay, so it's a pretty simple thing. Um, it is. You know, sometimes people think ketchups and all these preserves and stuff are tough to make. They're really not. They're okay. pretty simple. So I think you might like this. So Mayor, yes, maybe you can put that into this pot. I can do that. Okay. okay. And we just want to make sure that we're up nice and high. Nice and high. On, I will turn it on. On that one. On Good. High. Good. Okay. All right, so we have that there. Now, Shelly, it calls for in there a weird thing, like a half a cup of apple cider honey. And you said that Bragg's... Bra I mean, yeah, I, I made my own by adding a little honey, but um, Bragg's apparently does make one. Mm -hmm. They do. So anyway... In case you have not had the Bragg's, <laughs> the Bragg's vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar, this cures you of everything. Okay. Anything you've ever had or may have, it'll take care of it. That's right. I've seen, I've been on the website. <laughs> I take it every morning in one of my shakes. See, and it works, wow. works mm -hmm. like a charm. It's the perfect probiotic. We're not sponsored by, <laughs> we're not sponsored by Bragg's. So what I did, it's calling for like a half a cup mm -hmm. okay. of this concoction. So I'm, I made one of these earlier, so I know this works like really well. So I put a quarter cup of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to put about a quarter cup of, I mean. that. there we go, right there. And let's see, we'll just mix that all up because otherwise the honey sort of just goes right to the bottom right. and, and sits but this is this is really good actually I've used this before I've taken the um, the apple cider vinegar the Bragg's and some honey like if I was having a sore throat or something right. and I made a little okay. tea out okay. of it and it's very good all right so all we have to do is put that right in and that that's enough liquid Okay. You're not really going to be putting any other liquid in there at all. Um, all right, so if one of you would like to do the honors of about four tablespoons of brown sugar, okay. approximately. Yeah, should I you know when you're doing it. Yeah, perhaps? maybe if you want to do that, okay. we'll, we'll let you do that. So you have that kind of mixture of, of a sour. And the um, sweet. And the sweet in there. And, and the sweet, but you know, Blueberries are often, they're sweet, but they're tart at the same mm -hmm. time. So we get that going on. And then we have a little bit of cinnamon, mm -hmm. like about a half teaspoon. Yeah, that looks like our cinnamon. Put that in there. And then we're gonna use like about a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. That would be this one right okay. here. Mm, oh, it smells, smells great good. already. Yeah. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? And then we have some allspice. That would be the allspice. Very nice. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, whenever good. you see the, these 
kinds of things like mace or, or, or these mm -hmm. nut-like things. Mm -hmm. Allspice is one of those too. Okay. And has, has a really amazing flavor. All right, now here's a, here's a bit you might, n you may not think that we would do this, but I think it's a great thing to do, is pepper. Oh yeah, pepper. Yeah, it has about a quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon of um, black cra pepper. cracked black pepper. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, mm -hmm. after I made it and I tasted it, I really liked it. I liked that little peppery thing. Okay. I could even see taking a pinch of cayenne oh. and putting it in Perfect. there as well. That would well. be really good. You know, because with all that sweet, I think that could work out really, really nicely. And then we're going to take about a half a teaspoon of salt. Voila. Mm -hmm. And then another one that you might not think of. We're gonna put some garlic, some minced oh, garlic. garlic in there. There we go. There you go. Whoa. So now Mayor's gonna stir it up, stir it all around. And let me see if we got that nice hot thing looking under there. Mm -hmm. How's our thing going here? It's oh, it's, oh, it's getting nice it's and hot. hot. So pretty much what we're gonna do right now is bring it to a boil, mm -hmm. uh, and then we're gonna let it simmer for, I don't know, about, I, I let mine today simmer for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could go for 20 to 30, depending on where your heat level is, but you wanna keep an eye on it because as all that sugar is cooking down, it's gonna start to caramelize right. and it's gonna give you that thickness. Mm -hmm. So I think that'd be, be really okay. good. All right, so we will, you know what they say, a watched pot never, never, never boils. boils. So we'll just sit it and we'll turn our heads for okay. a second, right? That, that'll be it. And before you know it, we're going to have right. something. All right, that looks like it's just about mm -hmm. ready. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of getting syrupy looking mm -hmm. um, because there's so much sugar in there and, and it's cooking down. Um, as it cools, it's going to thicken up. Um, already, so uh, shouldn't be shouldn't be too much to do with that, right, Mary? Right, just a few minutes. Uh -huh. In the meantime, John, do you have something to share with us? If I'm correct, I'm seeing a bionic eye, or perhaps eyes. <laughs> Actually, two bionic eyes. Yeah, I just had a little bit of eye surgery and uh, has some new lenses in, so I can see without glasses. But if it looks like I have really red eyes today, that's just from the residual. And next next class we have. They'll be back to normal. Awesome, awesome. Well, congratulations on your yeah, bionic congratulations. eyes. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, so now what we want to do at this point is you want to take the ketchup and put it through a strainer. Okay. Um, we're using what is known in the business as a china cap, which is chinois. Cap. Um, and we're just going to take that and put that all through there. Get all the good bits, as Get my sister in. would say. Don't leave anything behind. Awesome. Okay. And then you can just use the spoon. Okay. Put that back down there. And you can use the spoon and stir around. Stir. Oh. And as you can see. Oh my here, gosh, look that at that. Up. It's see beautiful. Look at that. It's so so shiny. All the goodness of mm -hmm. the blueberries are coming out there. This and is really easy. Yeah, and then it'll it'll help thicken it up a little mm -hmm. bit as yeah. well. And once we get all that through. Okay. Basically what I do is just let it come first to room temperature mm -hmm. and then you can just get yourself like a squeezy plastic bottle. squeezy mm -hmm. bottle uh, get it, and, and pour it right in there and we already did one and we're all set and it came out quite nicely as you can see it's it's a good consistency. Yes. It's great. And it tastes good. So anyway when we were down there you know we we were very food focused. Yes, we I don't were. know why, but we were food for <laughs> focused. I was like, ah. Um, so, but that isn't all they have there. Obviously, they have livestock. They have um, all entertainment. We went and heard some music, mm -hmm. but they have so many crafts. I was surprised with those exhibition halls how much stuff they have. So what we saw, we saw crocheting. Mm -hmm. We did. And what else did we, we see? We saw knitting. Knitting. We saw beautiful quilts. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was pretty amazing. So why don't we take a look and see what oh, we saw? Yeah, I'd love to. We're in the exhibition hall here at the Maryland State Fair and we're Janice Coronas and Mary, oh my God. <laughs> my heart is like beating like this. All right, so we're in the crochet department yes, right now. Yes, crochet department. I always get confused between knitting and crocheting. 
And I know I could be shot for saying that, you know, when you're well, in this you area. Well, you need two needles. Yeah. And crocheting, you have one needle. Okay. So you do a lot with your hand. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Well, the, some of the work is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The dragon, which is above us. Yes. I don't know if anybody can see it, but it's gorgeous. Yes. And just the details and the colors and mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, it's really. Time yeah. And there's yeah. so many crafts, correct, in yes. this in, in yes. the we exhibition have, hall. We have the uh, fine arts. We have photography. We have quilts. We have arts and crafts. We have rug cooking. We have sewing. There's just a little bit of everything for everybody. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah I it love really it. Really is. Well, we, we, I think we should go check some more of it out. showcase and this gentleman did a self-portrait of himself and it's, it's great it's just really amazing I don't have the talent to do something like that so I'm <laughs> kind of impressed. yeah I, I'm totally impressed by it. so everyone that did this are veterans yes yeah mm -hmm. wow they're just some amazing we're gonna go find come on let's find a cheese bread let's go find the cheese bread <laughs> my mother loved cheese bread oh I love cheese bread uh -huh. Especially the Hutzler's cheese bread. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it sort of thick sliced and then toasted. And uh -huh. put a little bit of shrimp salad on there and you're good to go. Ooh. Or plain. Or plain. My mother, every time I was going to go up to Hutzler, she would say, Johnny, don't you forget to get the cheese bread. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and here is a cheese bread. Yum. We we have a cheese bread right there. There's the blue ribbon winner. There's your blue ribbon cheese and bread. And here's second place. They both look wonderful. Yeah, look at the interior of it. You know, yeah. you have kind of those veins mm -hmm. of cheese running through it. But you know what I did with it um, just recently? Yeah. I took the cheese bread and I got some hamburgers from Liberty Delight Farm and I used the cheese bread as the roll. Oh, so you had wow. cheese on it, you had the local meat and then local cheese on top of that. So you get in a lot. Oh, delicious. Was We're, that open face? Or? Open face, yeah. Sounds We're going to do it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's going to be so delicious. <laughs> All right. Okay. The next thing that we're going to go into right now is the Hutzler's cheese bread. <gasps> How many people have been to Hutzler's in their youth? Well, we have. And <laughs> it's kind of where we grew up shopping. For sure. All right, okay. we can, we can uh, hand, that, hand that off to, um, to our Vannas okay, over okay. there to your right. There's my Vannas. Your Vanna 1 and Vanna 2. <laughs> and we can... Uh, we can get ready and start our okay, Hutzler's cheese great. bread. All right. Okay. So Hutzler's was a department store mm -hmm. in Baltimore, and everybody seemed like everybody went there, and and we have so many memories of going shopping there, of eating there, and they had a great bakery and and a counter that you could go Did. chow mein. Mm -hmm. You could get that down there, and <laughs> but every the one thing that everybody talked about all the time was the Hutzler's cheese bread. Mm -hmm. you know? Anytime I was going over there, my mother said, don't forget to get the cheese bread and bring it home. Mm -hmm. So in your book, um, yes. and in one of the, the reminiscent books on Hutzler's, mm -hmm. um, they give the recipe right. for the cheese bread. So we are gonna show you how to make that right in your very own home. Okay, okay Marissa, maybe if you bring this and the um, cutting board right over to front okay. and center here, but not near the hot part, because we're we're <laughs> known for melting cutting <laughs> we boards. We, we, we definitely are. So basically, Sorry. what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take some dry yeast right here, and it's about a package. Okay, um, now is this rapid rise or regular? This is regular. Okay. Um, it's it's fast acting, but it's not the, the rapid okay. one. And so, I have some warm water. Mm -hmm. It's tepid. Look that up in tepid. the dictionary. Okay. You know? um, so it's just a little bit warm, but it's not hot to the touch. Right. Okay. You don't want to put really hot water in there because the yeast is not going to be happy and it will not behave itself. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to take that mm -hmm. and stir that all around. You could also do this a little bit earlier 
um, you know, before you make the bread, maybe about 10, 15 minutes if you felt like it, and put it in just like a, a, a little thing like this, put the hot, the warm water in it, and let it sit. Okay. Because you see, as we're looking at that right now, it's already gonna start to dissolve, and they call this blooming. blooming. Yeah, so it'll start to, start to activate itself right there. Nice. All right, so some of the things that we need to okay. do this thing is flour, and you just wanna use all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, some sugar, um, milk, and then a lot of cheese. Okay. Cheese is the operative word <laughs> of what we're doing on this dish. Whether we start it with the blueberry ketchup, <laughs> whether we start go with the cheese bread, and then we're making a cheese burger to go uh, yes, on the are. cheese bread. So, so good. We're talking cheese tonight, okay? <laughs> All right, so I think this is, this is uh, looking like that is making things. So we're going to um, add all of the ingredients and kind of mix them well. Um, I'm going to put the milk in next, mm -hmm. just because I prefer this. This is such a loose recipe. This is like an easy bread recipe. So most of the time, uh, you know, you could do it any which way you okay. want. But I like putting the flour in at the end. Okay. Okay. Um, so I try to get all my wet ingredients first. So we have a little bit of melted butter there, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have um, some salt. Salt is very, very important mm -hmm. in it because the yeast likes salt and it also likes sugar. Okay. It helps activate it. So we'll stir all that around. And then we have some of our our homegrown sugar right from Domino's. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing like it. We have everything here, we do. don't we? we? Do. Yes. I mm -hmm. mean, Maryland is an amazing place. It is. Mm -hmm. From the mountains. We're very lucky. From the mountains to the shores, and we have just about it all. <laughs> okay, so I think I got everything. I got sugar, salt, we have milk in there. And so let's start with putting some of this flour in. And I'd like to do it just a little at a time. Now, I think in the drawer here right by you, if you pull this open, we'll be able to find um, a spoon. And so we just stir that in. And if you guys want to take that, I'll stir. Okay. And then you can just start Add. adding. Okay. Okay. Ready there for There you go. Yeah, sure. We'll take a little, take more. And okay. Now you could do this like in your mix master mm -hmm. with your dough hook, but you know, I really like working with the my dough. hands. I yeah. do, I like doing it myself. Unless I'm making multiple, uh, you know, loaves. You know, if we were gonna make six or eight loaves of this, then maybe mix we'd have to, haul, right. we'll have to haul out that KitchenAid. All right, you can put it back, yeah, oh. good, 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 good. <laughs> Gotta use right. your muscles now. That's right. So here we go. Got that. All right, we we're going to wait. I'm going to get this in here, and then we'll take a break, and I'll see if it'll take any more flour. Okay. Because okay. as we continue to stir, you see it's, mm -hmm. it's, it mm -hmm. is actually coming together. Coming together. It's picking up the flour. So, yeah, yeah, it's looking good. All right, now we'll take the cheese. So this is a um, sharp um, American cheese. Sharp cheddar, actually. Cheddar. It's a sharp cheddar. So I'm going to put that in, and then we'll stir that around. And this does take some muscles <laughs> at this particular. That's part. why you're doing it, John. Mm -hmm. That's, why I'm, That's <laughs> why I'm doing it. That's why we're watching. Yeah, but I'm going to get I'm going to get you all. You all going <laughs> to be needing in just a minute. <laughs> I need you. I need you, you to need need us. Us. I need you. Great. Like crazy. I love needing. Yeah. I know, isn't that great? It's so relaxing, isn't it? It, it is. is. Mm -hmm. and it's fun. All right, and then we took some more of the sharp cheddar and just cut it into little pieces Chunks. and cubes. Okay. So what happens it's as it's baking, yeah. it kind of you get all this you know, yeah. cheesy Good thing stuff. going through the cheesy center. Goodness. All right, here we go. Now, Mayor, I think mm -hmm. we have a little extra flour over there, we too, do. that we can keep there. So what I think we should do mm -hmm. is why don't you just sprinkle some flour across the board. I'm going to take a little bit. Whenever you're making bread and mm -hmm. you're going to work it or knead it, just cover your hands with flour. It really Here helps. you go, Shell. I think you're going to need some flour. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my brains yeah. off here. 
So this is really cool, and you're going to see how cool this is in just a minute or so, because as soon as I get this dough to come together, um, you see all the cheese in it is mm -hmm. just do. looking good. What a good it is. present. It, it, it would be a great present. I mean, really, yeah. think about the basket you can make at the holidays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With yeah. a little, little bit of cheese, bread, mm -hmm. and, and the ketchup. Oh, yes. yes. Wouldn't that be perfect? Mm -hmm. My sister would yeah. love this for a gift. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I can tell, you know, when I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I just can tell by handling by the feels. dough. If it's when still it's a bit right. sticky, okay. you don't want it to be too sticky. No. So this is coming together really nicely. It's really pliable. And so I'm just working it together in the bowl just to get the dough to come together. Okay. And now... Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that Beautiful. with all the cheese running through mm. there. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty. So I'm going to, ladies, I'm going to turn this over to you. And I think all we, you know how to knead. So yep. let's yep. just, let's do a little kneading. We'll sing, sing one of our cheese songs, you know. I don't know which don't one know of the cheese. I don't know which one of the cheese songs. <laughs> I think it, I want what's to it do. the uh, the mouse yeah. around the clock or something? Yeah, and yeah. the cheese stands alone. That's the only thing that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be something like that. So anyway, what we're gonna do is you need it. I would say I, I'd need it for about five minutes five at minutes. least, mm -hmm. um, or ten minutes, and then we have a bowl here somewhere. Uh, Vanna has for us mm -hmm. a little Vanna um, that's been oiled and okay. we're going to put the uh, we're going to put the 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 dough in there sure doing a great job show thanks you're doing a great job now john i went you know in the olden time i have a lot of olden time cookbooks and they talk about ridges on your dough avoid the ridges and you're supposed to smack it down i'm thinking more <laughs> probably i love lucy maybe yeah yeah um, yeah yeah so is that a real thing yeah i i have okay i haven't I was encountered just the ridge thing okay um but yeah, this is this is looking good. This is looking good. So we're, the next thing is we get the bowl that's greased. Yeah, and then we'll, we yeah, we would do that. So after you after you knead it for about okay. five ten minutes, just take a bowl similar to this, and okay. then you just sort of oil it, and then you can put that put the dough in there. Okay. Put a towel over top of it, and then I think we can see what we have over there. All right. Voila! Can the magic it's coming together here. That's good. Take that. Okay. But look at that. Isn't that it's beautiful? Be it's beautiful. It really is. It really I, is beautiful. I love mm -hmm. that. So we're just going to let that rest with a towel over okay. it. Okay. And I'll I switch this out we with will you. switch. Voila. And then in here. Oh, nice. Oh, we found the other bowl. Oh, there's the other bowl. <laughs> <laughs> other we bowl. knew we had I it. I knew that <laughs> other bowl was somewhere. So anyway, here's your here's your actual Yum. risen yeah. dough so just like any other dough ah. you want to punch it down because it, it's getting air in it and mm -hmm. volume in it and mary if you want to put a little bit more uh, on board that mm -hmm. there uh-huh mm -hmm. and here we go oh it looks so pretty so you can just give it i would just give it put a little bit of flour on top just a little bit and maybe two or three kneads on it and then we can there's a little bread pan over there, okay. Mayor. Oh, very nice. Now, this is this greased? Do uh, we tend to? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, actually, no, it's no, not. No, it's not. Oh, but we have canola oil if yeah, we wish. Yeah, so if you want to give that sure, a little spray, spray, that would be lovely. This looks like one of my pans my mom had. Can yeah, I, this, I know. As, I love you, as you can see, I love your things I, that we I use. I have baked a lot of you Irish have. soda bread in that. Many, many loaves. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna roll this out a little bit like this. Now the recipe. So he uh, was just rolling that a minute ago. That's a new technique. I've never rolled dough before. Yeah, so you wanna pull it in under here. So I'm getting the seam. Okay. I'm rolling the seam down. Okay. Right. So when I put it in here, it will have the seam down. Oh, it's so pretty. So yeah. Look that. at that. Perfect. It is perfect. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, we're going to do the same thing that we did to the other dough. Okay. We're going to take the towel, mm -hmm. put it over top. In a warm spot. And then we'll put that in a warm space. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we will be, once it's ready to go, it'll go in the oven uh, for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. And there okay. you go. So let's see what we have here. Here we go. 
We did this a little earlier. Whoa. We'll turn this over to, to our vanas in mm -hmm. the back. And here we have a couple beautiful loaves of the Hutzler's cheese bread. And if you look in the center here, oh look my at gosh. the texture. The texture <gasps> Can is, I touch it? Yeah. The texture oh is really, really beautiful. See, I would break off a chunk of, I would oh. eat that whole loaf within five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> well, who am I kidding? <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's that, beautiful. Yeah. That is, that Sliced is, and toasted. Oh. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. All okay. right. So we're going to take a little break here and mm -hmm. we're going to get ready and we're going to make a sandwich with this cheese bread that is unbelievable. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's get going. Yes. All right. Now, we went to all the trouble to make the authentic Hutzler's cheese bread, right? Mm -hmm. So I was trying to figure what could we do with that? And so what are some of the memories you have about the Hustler's cheese bread? What did they put on well, that? Well, at the Towson Tea Room, they uh, toasted it and they served their shrimp salad sandwiches and their tuna fish salad sandwiches on cheese bread. And it was really good. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely. And, and, and the egg salad. I love and the egg, egg salad. salad. Yes. Egg salad. Mm -hmm. really uh, oh, good that's too. really good on it. Yeah. So I thought let's do something a little bit different. You know, we're looking down memory lane, but we're also thinking about our local board mission here of connecting people to local foods. So obviously we have the history right here in our hands, the memories. Mm -hmm. And so I went over to the farmer's market at Waverly 32nd where mm -hmm. we hang out all the time. And we got some beautiful ground meat from Liberty Delight Farms, which is up in Ricerstown. They do farmer's markets all over the area and you can also go to their website, libertydelightfarms.com, and they do home delivery. They do all kinds of things. They have an amazing array of meats. So it's absolutely beautiful. And then, who's our girlfriend? Up at Rooms Bloom Dairy. Kate. Kate. So, Merrick, grab that yeah. over there. Let's let's take a look. I want to show everybody what we got. Okay. I love their um, Creswell cheddar. It's so good. And they did a new one, and I saw that this week, and I knew what we were going to be doing. <laughs> and it's a beer brine wow. cheese. Whoa. So I thought, we are making the ultimate cheeseburger today. Mm -hmm. Are we not? We are. I mean, I don't know what to say. So we uh, we got this there, and there, mm -hmm. you have that right over mm -hmm. there. So I think if you, you want to get involved with this, we sure. can do a little decorating uh -huh. of cheese. Make it look pretty. So this, this Creswell cheddar is a little bit, has a little bit of an age on it. So mm -hmm. it does, you know, break into little pieces, but we're going to take care of that darn quick. Okay. Oh, let's put cool. a little bit more on. Mm -hmm. Why not, Mayor? We'll keep this for us to eat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a little, a little more on. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, Mary, we got a lid here. Let's we put did. a lid on this whole Ooh. thing. And we're going to let it melt. All right. And in just a couple minutes, we're going to have the ultimate. ultimate ultimate cheeseburger mm -hmm. mm. but okay now when you're making your cheeseburger what do you like on your cheeseburger typically i like onion lettuce tomato ketchup and mustard uh-huh yeah. uh, i like pickles i like olives and tomatoes all right well we <laughs> have a whole different mcgillicuddy here with oh, that mm -hmm. because like you were talking you like pickles on it mm -hmm. well we have that sour component mm. in this blueberry ketchup now, where did you say that recipe came from? What was it? Uh, I believe it came from a chef uh, at the Milton Inn during oh, the 90s. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the Milton Inn. Yeah. I always did. Yes. I always did. So we have this here. So there's a number, obviously, different things we could do. You know, uh, if you were so vested in your regular ketchup, you could use it. But I think this is going to be absolutely awesome with the local cheese, the, the local beef, and our Hutzler's cheese bread. So let's make believe. We'll start it with this. Mm. We'll just do some swirls of our blueberry ketchup. Oh my God. Looks wow. beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we have our, let's see what we have going on here. Oh, look, it's all melting out lovely. Mm -hmm. So we have our down memory lane spatula. Yes, Mary, me too. Mary loves this spatula. <laughs> I love this spatula. It reminds me of my mom's house and my grandparents' spatula. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so basically all you have to do, Mary, is set that atop. Okay. 
Okay. This delicious Hutzler's cheese bread. Okay. Here, I'll help you with that. Okay. Well, that's a hot little, uh, hot little it thing, is a isn't hot it? little burger. Get that right there. I got it. Got it. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Okay, good. And then, if you want it, you know, if you had some lovely Maryland tomatoes, you mm -hmm. could put that on top of it. But I really thought that this would be nice, just open faced and getting all the flavors. You know, I think if we put too many things on this right now, we would lose some of the flavor exactly. of the cheese bread. And oh my gosh, that beef. looks so it's pretty. Beautiful. Look at that. Now you can really see the color come out. And then you that. could do, okay, if, if we were at Gertrude's, you could yeah. do a little swirl. Yeah, we could plate. do swirls and squiggles <laughs> and, and yaddy, 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 yaddy. John, you know, I think you're going to have to put this on the menu. I think so I too, think, John. I think we might just have to do that. So anyway, we, we have the ultimate cheeseburger. It's a locavore cheeseburger. And uh, I don't think you can do much more than that, can you? Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, well, well, we'll let that sit for a second before mm -hmm. we tuck into that. But, all right, we were fortunate enough when we were at that state fair to be there on cookie and cake day. <laughs> was it not? It was yeah, great. I great. mean, we timed that. And we uh, did. they have all kinds of categories for the different kinds of cookies, more than I could have even imagined. Why don't we take a look and see what we saw? Hey, we're at the Maryland State Fair, and we're in one of the exhibition halls, and I'm with Shelly Howe, and we are looking at food memories and food that we can eat and food we remember. And so when I come here every year and I look at all the different you know, entries into the food world, and I think about it like a memory, they are living memories kind of waiting to be eaten. Absolutely. <laughs> And I can't wait to check out all the Blue Ribbon winners. Yeah, well, that's a really cool part about it. You know, people spend so much time, so much effort, and put themselves into this every year. And I always love seeing the guys that kind of made it to the top. Yes, it's definitely a labor of love, yeah. certainly. All right, well, we'll check it out. And we may just get some ideas that we can riff on in the kitchen oh, I can't later. Wait. Okay. That's going to be so much fun. Let's go. All right. All right, look at all the cakes oh, we wow. have today look here. Oh, that, John. My gosh. Now, that is a beauty, huh? That is. And so many people spend so much time. Look, think about how much time it takes to make, decorate. I wonder how much it did, time it did take. And look, it, it got the, it's the President's Award, the Blue Prize first place winner. Exactly. They have different classes of, you know, entries for different kind of cake. They have a President of the State Fair cake. Oh. And then this is the governor's cake. Wow. Which I think is so cool um, to have, you know, all these different things and people just specifically go for that category. I wonder, does the governor come here to the cake or does the cake go to the governor? I think the cake might go to the governor. And uh, so Governor Hogan, uh, you know, we would love to get our fingers in this, but we'll let you have it. <laughs> John, I'm, I'm very simple in my taste. I mean, yeah. I can go extravagant at times, but I just love simple food, and that's yeah. why I'm kind of drawn to sugar cookies. I love a chewy ah. sugar cookie. Just the simple ingredients of it makes me very happy. Put a little icing on it. Good that, to go. That's always my favorite at the holidays. My grandmother, Gertie, made an awesome sugar cookie. Oh, and I've got yeah. your book. I'm going to have to try that one for All right. sure. <laughs> we'll get it in the fair next year. Yes! Awesome! <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? It was a lot of fun in those cakes, <laughs> the governor's cake. Oh, my gosh. That was very yeah. cool, wasn't very, it? Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did an amazing job. They did. And I can't remember. They had so many categories of cookies. You know, you wouldn't think there could be that many, but you know, I think they did a really nice job, but I think we might be able to do an even better job. And next year, there's gonna be a whole new category I, over there at that state there, don't you think, I, I think. Okay, we are now gonna have, hey, grab me that thing in there. We're gonna have, our potato chip cookies, <laughs> and it's gonna be the whole new category at the State Fair, so make sure next year you come see us and you'll see the next first prize. Yep. But we're gonna show you how you can make it too. Just don't get them over there before we do, okay? <laughs> fair is fair. 
All right, so this is another Hutzler's. It is. And you know, I don't remember this one, you know? Truthfully, I don't specifically remember it, but I understand that it was sold at the bakery yeah. as you went into the tea room. Yeah. Um, but, and I may have had them and just didn't recognize it for what it was because I was pretty small. Well, you know, I already made them to try them out, and they are awesome. Mm -hmm. They are addictive. Okay, let's get to this. This is it's really a basic, you it know, is. butter, flour kind of thing. Now, Mayor. Yes, sir. I'm really counting on you t t today for this because we're going down memory lane, and we hauled out the hand mixer from <laughs> like 1970, do you think? I would say that maybe the late 60s Could actually. Could be something like that in the late 60s. So <laughs> we're gonna cream together mm -hmm. the butter mm -hmm. and the sugar. sugar. Okay. Here you go, Mayor. We're counting on you. And the butter's slightly softened, if, I, if I'm feeling yeah. this right. This does not make much noise. <laughs> okay, our cameraman might think differently, but. <laughs> <laughs> and you can actually see what it means by creaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Tell me when this is coffee. All right, I think we got it. Okay. All right, okay. so next, with our hand mixer, now we're going to add the egg yolk. Okay. It's just one egg yolk and the vanilla. Mm. And then we want to mix that until it's really all together. You smell oh. vanilla. Uh huh. And the butter. Mm, mm, mm. All right. I think that's good. Okay. Now this is usually the the part when my grandmother would make all these things. This is where I wanted to eat. Yeah, of course. Right there, I had my fingers right in there. Okay, so the next thing we're supposed to do is we're going to mix in the flour. Mm -hmm. And this, I guess, we can do at a at a slow speed <laughs> because you don't want to mix too sure. too vigorously when you're putting the flour in. Otherwise, you can actually make it tough. Okay. Okay. Cool. And then we're getting a little bit of salt in there. I think it's stuck to the bottom. Oh, we're going to get that right out. Yeah. It's a humid day here in Baltimore. <laughs> it really and is. as you all know, during those humid days, that salt just sticks. This is the lowest speed. The lowest speed they have. I'm being very gentle with the dough. And it says that you can use any kind of nut that you want. So you could use like uh, walnuts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Black walnuts would be really good, mm -hmm. especially if you were in the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, we took and toasted some pecans, Ooh. which I actually really like with the pecans. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you know what I think we could probably do there to mm -hmm. finish this off. We could shut that off. Okay. And then we'll just take the fork here and work this around to get it a little bit congealed mm -hmm. together. Okay. Because it still wants to kind of, the flour kind of wants to suck up the, the butter there. Mm -hmm. And... Once we get it to where we want it with that, it would be good. Because it really doesn't take very much liquid in here at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. No. All right. So, Shelly, how, how do you usually do it? Do you usually get it, like, thicker in there? Do you use no, your hands? I, it, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll do it with my hands. Because here, I, I can like, do it. Okay. I, I already have... I'm already. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it has all to come together. Yeah, it's almost like bread. Yeah, you yeah. know, getting mm -hmm. the whole thing to actually come together like this. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And you can feel it. You know, as soon as it starts to really toe it, turn mm -hmm. into a dough. Yep. It's turning into a dough. Looks yeah, really nice. good. Nice. Nice. It's nice. Holding nice. together mm -hmm. nice. I can tell. Uh huh. Very, very good. So we already um, preheated our oven to 350 okay. degrees. Now, if you're using the convection oven, 
I would say 325. You want to go okay. about 25 degrees cooler. Um, cooler. And if you have the ability to go with a high fan or a low mm -hmm. fan, always the low fan. Okay. The low fan works much nicer for baking okay. and for pastries and things like that and cookies and yada, yada, yada. All right, so there you go. Now, what do we do? Now we add the potato chips. Right. <gasps> but oh, they need okay. to be crushed. All right. Okay, we gotta get our chips. All chips right. right there. And you know, we're talking about kind of locavore. Well, the Utz chips are pretty locavore, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't eat a tuna fish sandwich without my chips. No. All right, how much we need in here? You don't really need a whole no, lot. No, it's half it's a cup. It's just about a half, half a, a cup. cup. Okay. So I think basically what this adds, it adds a little bit of oil mm -hmm. and the salt, salt. with mm -hmm. the sugar should yep. be really good. Really good. Okay, here, right. let's put these put them in bag. right in here. Mm -hmm. i put a little bit more in just in case we want to have some more we can. There you go. All right. All right, that should do it. Okay. Okay, we'll Ellie. try that. And mm -hmm. now you could just yep. sl slam it. Slam it, smash it. Smash it like that, or you could take, get out all your old timey utensils mm -hmm. and go to war, Miss Murphy. Okay. How, how small do we want to smush them? I think it's a personal preference. Really. <laughs> okay. It's whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That looks but good. by the time okay. we smush these into there, um, you know, it's going to pretty much do it. All right, here we have a cup. So just to say you were measuring, mm -hmm. I don't always measure, but when you want to get the general idea, especially for mm -hmm. a, you know, baked Baking, good. Baking, yes. Baking All right, so there we go. Baking. So let's, okay. I'm going to get my hands right back in there. A couple more. Yeah. Okay. And squish those, squish. Now squish, <laughs> squish. is a culinary term. <laughs> you can look that up in the Le Escoffier, mm -hmm. and you'll see that it is totally a culinary term, squish. Oh uh, yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. And and I can feel the chips. It, well, the, not only the chips, but you know, we had the butter, the creamed mm -hmm. butter in there mm -hmm. that gives you some kind of oil right. thing. Well, the the chips are doing the exact same thing. Nice. You know, they're they're adding a bunch of uh, oil and obviously salt to our our mixture here. These would be really nice like as uh, Christmas cookies or mm, something they are. too. Yeah. yeah, they'd be a great gift in a tin or something. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think we got the general idea here. So, Shelly, I'm going to let you take it from there okay. to show us what we should do next. Okay, well, if it's not going to stick, which I don't think it is, just take a generous tablespoonful. Right there. Mm. Lovely. Uh. I'll put it together. <laughs> but it comes together pretty quickly. Lovely. I think if you push it against the side of the bowl, yeah. it holds it better. Mm -hmm. Very right. nice. I like that scoop. Mm -hmm. that, That's a good scoop. Yeah, she's got a really good scoop here. You could also, I mean, the, the old recipe says to do it by the table okay. spoonful on there. And that basically is what we need we to do. It. So anyway, you would just continue doing that right. until you use up all your dough. Um, it says it makes about two dozen cookies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or more depending on how big you want right. the mm -hmm. whole, whole kind of thing. So I'm going to take this over here and put this kind of into my easy bake oven. And then I have some that I already baked mm. just a few minutes ago like that. Wow. Look mm. at that. They look good. Don't they look good? Yes, they they're, do. they're really, really nice. And um, they take about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the other things that I've seen, and I don't know if you you do that with it, Shelly, but um, there's some powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Do you ever put any I powdered do. sugar on it? I do. And I've also used a fork to put the little crosshatch okay. marks, and it kind of holds the sugar on there, too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. great. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can just dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar. And these things are so good. They look good. Oh my good. God, they're good. And uh, 
they, they could be a little bit addictive, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit. Just of, a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit addictive, a little bit of habit for me. But I think when we get these into the Maryland State <gasps> Fair next blue year, ribbon. I mean, I see that, bell, that blue ribbon is just coming right on around the, the corner. I there. think so. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually made some memories here today um, with, with all the dishes that we did. Um, I think it tied in so nicely, you know, mm -hmm. to, to all the all the memories, all the whole feel of Maryland. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, and Shelly, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. For thank doing you. That. And everybody, don't forget, yeah. if you want to see more recipes from the olden days, here's Dining Down Memory Lane and Dining Down Memory Lane Volume 2. Mm -hmm. has some great recipes in it. It does. It's yeah, just, really. And it's just great reading them. I it's mean, fun. It, 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 it absolutely is so great reading them. And so, Mayor. Yes, sir. We did it again, we another did. show, and we want to thank everybody for because mm -hmm. we're, we're back. We took a little hiatus, and and you saw some of last month, some of the best of oh. Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table, and um, which was cool. It was really Very nice. Very cool. But we're back, and we had it right on down there, and 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 it was so much fun. It really was, and we have a lot more coming up this um, this this season and we're actually going to be going down to the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and looking at some of the environmental connections between food um, and the bay and our health. The whole kit and caboodle all wrapped up in one and we have uh, Hillary Hart Balk with us who is the new executive director and CEO of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. So I am so excited about that. We're gonna to go to one of their education centers. So we have a lot coming up. And as always, I wanna thank everybody who you know uh, made all of these poss everything that we did possible. possible. Now, I'm gonna go run through that, but I don't want you to click off that computer because <laughs> you know what I'll do, I'll find you. Um, because right after I finished doing that litany of, mm -hmm. of our thanks, we're going to have a Q&A session yes. that you can ask us anything you want, and we will try to do our darndest <laughs> to, to, you know, to tell you about that. But in the meantime, again, thanks first to all of you for tuning in, to coming in and hanging out with us in our kitchen here as we try to put all sorts of cool things together. I uh, want to thank uh, Harford County Public Library, the whole team there. They do such a great job. They really do putting it together. And the our common table team and, and V for putting all of our food mm -hmm. together for us. Making us look good. Yeah, yeah. and then, you know, um, Kate was lovely sending us that, that cheese over and Liberty Delight Farms, they were there. And I um, stopped by and got some of the fruit that I needed while I was at the Waverly 32nd farmers market so the cool thing about all of this and the reason that we do it we like to get people learning how to cook we want to get you in the kitchen we want you telling more stories and making more memories but the most important thing is to get out there and buy as much local food Absolutely. as you can go to farm stands mm -hmm. go to the farmers markets go to the independent restaurants not restaurant, well, the restaurants Restaurant? and the grocery stores mm -hmm. that are mm -hmm. using that local food. And together, we can rebuild our local food economy right here in Maryland. So anyway, get ready, get your pads and paper out so that you're ready to give us our questions. And until the next time, keep on cooking. Oh, hi, everybody. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Hey, John. I think hey. Shelly <laughs> Shelly will be joining us too. That was a lot of fun. And I must say, I've never seen a corn dog that large in my entire, entire <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so I think we have a few, a couple questions, a really good question. So uh, the first one we have is from Pat. And she would like to know what else can you use the blueberry ketchup for? Well, you know, I think it, we you could use it for like a million different uses. So we had, you know, we, we made that and I had made some in advance at the restaurant. So today we did a grilled brie and blueberry ketchup sandwich. So we slathered the bread. We used like Pullman white bread, slathered it all with the blueberry ketchup and then 
big slices of brie, put it together and bacon. We put bacon on it as well and melted that. And so that that's a really cool thing that you could do with it. Um, another thing that you could do, and you wouldn't really think of it, but you could grill a fish and actually take the ketchup in that bottle. You know how we like to use those bottles, man, and, and, and make it all fancy and swiggle kind of thing. So you could swiggle that on your fish. It would be great on swordfish, um, mahi-mahi, um, even rockfish. I mean, you don't want to cover it in it, but just do some lines down there and it'll really bring out some amazing flavors. So you can do stuff with it that you would never really think about. And how about we dip our, our uh, sweet potato fries in there? I think that would be hell good. I agree. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Sorry about the delay. I had a little technical difficulty, but I'm with you now. It's really okay. Hi. <laughs> All right. The second question we, we have is, should the towel that we use to cover the dough when it was going to be, you know, set aside to rise, should that be a uh, wet or moistened in any way, or should that be just a dry towel? Well, you know, I've seen different recipes calling for different things, and I really think it's a preference idea. Um, basically, you're just using the towel, and you ideally want to use a cotton towel uh, to cover it, to keep it warm, and but there's still a little air that can get in, and it helps the bread to rise. Um, I think if you would lightly moisten the towel, it will stop the top of the dough from drying out, um, but it's six of one, a half dozen of the other. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, that's good advice. I do know when we were when we were filming the show that the, the dough that you saw that John patted very nicely and Shelly was uh, kneading rose really quickly while we were filming the rest of the show. So uh, it, it was pretty spectacular actually. So it was fun with it. <laughs> All right, here's another question for you. Okay, can you add jalapenos to the cheese bread and would they be fresh, dried, or in a jar? What do you, what do you think? Well, my opinion would be absolutely go for it. <laughs> um, I would use, you can use fresh jalapenos. Obviously that would be nice, but some of those jarred jalapenos, you know, cause they're already a little bit softened uh that could work really really nicely as well and yeah it would give it give it a great kick you'd have that cheese all through there and a little bit of the hot peppers and the jalapenos they're not all that hot you know if we had if you would take serrano chilies and put that in there or habaneros you some that'd be a hot piece of bread i'm telling you Make sure if you do that for a holiday gift that you label it very clearly to the recipient <laughs> or they might be surprised. <laughs> exactly. All right. We have another question. This is both for Shelly, John, and I guess myself. What is your favorite deep fried fair food? I'm going to turn that over to Shelly first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's an easy one the corn dog and that's not something I'd ordinarily eat except when I'm at the fair it was it was really good I would agree Shelly and I shared that corn dog it was so it was so bit, ginormous just like ginormous <laughs> I think my favorite I would like to try is it certainly fried, was a fried twinkie I've never had a fried twinkie but I'm very intrigued by the thought John? You know, there's so many things that people do fried that are cool. You know, I've had fried ice cream. Uh, just today, one of our chefs made me uh, some fried pickles that was really, really delicious. But, you know, I am a, a, a boy of the Chesapeake. And I still, to this day, and I know, you know, everybody says, oh my God, when you make your crab cake, it should be broiled so you can taste the crab and it lets it come through. Hell with that. I think take it into crab balls, I fry it up and eating that fried crab is, there's nothing better that you can have. So you give me some of that and a baked potato and I'm ready to go meet my maker. 
All right, John, do you remember the fried hard crabs at Hale's Seafood on Taylor Avenue? Absolutely. My husband and I, I think we ate them almost every night of the week, every <laughs> single night of the week but while we were dating. They were the best. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> mm. All right. Here's another question for us. Um, this is both for Shelly and John. Can you substitute, and I cannot believe Beth is asking this question, but I will go forward with it. Can you substitute the potato chips with Doritos or Fritos? I'm going to Shelly here. I need an <laughs> expert. I need an expert here. Truthfully, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can try anything. I can't guarantee how that would come out, though. Uh, the Doritos, mm, I, I think it might add a flavor that's not too cohesive, but. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, Shelly. One of the nice things about the potato chips, essentially, they're neutral. It's a neutral flavor. Uh, it gives you some salt and it gives you a little bit of texture. And as we were talking about when we make it fat, um, I guess you could get the fat from the Doritos, but I also think that they're a little too crunchy for my taste. You know, the, the um, potato chips will kind of just fall apart nicely, you know, when we crush them up. And I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but if you're gonna uh, fry some fish, you can put that kind of in an egg wash and crush up um, potato chips and dip it into the potato chips and fry it. And that is awesome good too. So for me, if I'm gonna do my potato chip cookie, I'm sticking with my potato chip. Yeah. I bet you could try different brands of potato chips. We, we used um, Utz's, correct? Yes. And you could use different brands because yes. you know they're fried in different oil. So they have different. Yeah. Flavors, so I would. Oh I yeah, I think I think that you could use really any type of potato chip. I've always used the um, the Utz originals because of their they're so delicate, and I think that that is what makes the cookie. However, you could use like potato chips with ridges. Um, it's really up for experimentation. I think. And please let us know after you've done it, ladies and gentlemen, out there in television computer land. If you do it with something kind of alternative, I'd love to hear how it turned out. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And John, uh, suddenly we're into the fight club tonight. So the next question is, uh, which celebrity chef do you think you could take in a fight? Which celebrity chef could I take? Well, you'd have to give me a list and I'd probably tell you just about all of them. Um, but one of the things that I have to tell you, um, you know, from doing some of those different uh, ki kind of events, most, a lot of it's tongue in cheek and a lot of the stuff that you see behind the scenes is not exactly what you see on the end result. Um, the other thing, and I know, I know I'm going to take a hit for this, but I hate those shows. Um, I have a deep respect for food, and I think it's an act of reverence, an act of love when we are cooking food, and I don't consider it to be a spectator sport. So, but in answer to your question, bring them on, I'll take them down. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's why I love working with John. He's feisty. <laughs> And I agree. That's why we started doing this to keep people engaged. And, you know, we know we come together when we share a meal and we just have right. so much fun in the kitchen. It really is. It's, it's really special. So anyway, I think that was the end of our questions, but I do have an announcement for everyone who has signed up and registered tonight. We are doing a drawing. And our lucky ones who are pulled out of the hat will receive the latest book that Shelley Howell has published. And that is the second volume of the Down Memory Lane uh, recipe book. And also her first, oh, John's got holding it up. And then also Dining Down Memory <laughs> Lane first book. And um, we're very excited to be able to, and I wanna thank Shelley for providing those copies. And we'll be drawing your names and you'll be uh, reaching oh, out absolutely. to the library. Any parting words from 
Shelly from John. I do know this was a very special episode going to Maryland State Fair. It was memorable for me. Thank you for having me. And as as I mentioned, it, it was wonderful creating new memories. So thank you. And we did that, Shelly. Thank you so, so much for being with us, hanging out with us both at the State Fair and here in the kitchen. Uh, you were the blast. best. And, and I loved it. I did too. Thanks. So to and our- Mara, I always love yeah. hanging out with you. <laughs> I, I swear we are separated by birth, John. You, you know mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who, who watched tonight or will be watching in the future. And uh, we will see you in October for another special edition of the Chesapeake Bay and Farm to Table. Thank you, everyone. Be safe and see you all later. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.